Sugar Middleweight Championship. The officials have been appointed by the Central Area Council of the British Boxing Board of Control. Stood in charge at ringside, Mr. Richard Jones. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the black color shorts trimmed with white. At the weigh-in yesterday, he scaled on the championship limit of 12 stones exactly. From 14 contests, he has eight wins. Four of those wins coming by way of knockout, four defeats and two draws. Hailing from Huddersfield, West Yorkshire, here is Alistair Burt Warren. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the white color shorts trimmed with red and silver. And they were weighing yesterday, he also scaled 12 stone exactly. His professional record thus far reads 15 contests, 13 wins, five of those wins coming by way of knockout, just the solitary defeat and one draw. Hailing from Accrington, presenting Luke Robbo Blackledge. Timekeeper at the belt, Gary Grenham from Burnley, the referee in charge of the action, one of the finest in Britain today, Mr. John Latham from Barry. Ten three minute rounds.
Alistair Warren there returns to the corner and Chris Ashton's working on those cuts. They really put his title challenge in doubt here. And it's been two very, very good rounds. Um, I think Blackledge has just about edged the rounds, but the uh, the cuts are hampering Warren. But it's been two very good rounds so far. 
um, contrasting rounds. The first round they was working close, the second round they was trying to box more, but I can't see this fight going another two or three rounds with, with the injuries to Warren's eye. The contest over a 10 round contest has to go four complete rounds, therefore the result is a technical draw. The championship is still vacant ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry I know it doesn't seem fair to both supporters but we can go again sometime in the future. Both boys have put such energy into this contest in training and during this evening, give them both a nice round of applause, thank you. 